All right, so these are the instructions for the Romeo and Juliet analysis paragraph assignment. So, <clears throat> I need you to choose one of the prompts provided previously um, and write an analysis paragraph to answer the question. So, I, you need to write at least one of these prompts. If you wrote both, awesome. Um, if you, we're going to grade one. If you write one and if you write both we'll put in the grade for the higher score that you got um so here are the prompts uh the prompt for act one is as you review the events that have occurred in act one which one seems the most important in setting up conflicts in the plot explain so then i provided a definition for conflict in literature beneath that then um for act two the prompt is do you think romeo and juliet marry too soon why or why not? And then I provide a list of reasons, or a list of, yeah, reasons why there might be an issue with them getting married so soon um, for you to think about and think about your evidence. So again, pick one of those and write an analysis paragraph based on that in Google Classroom and submit it to Google Classroom. Um, to help you in completing this assignment, I put together a sample analysis paragraph. I did mine for Act 3 since we just read it. Uh, and I also am providing step-by-step -step instructions of how to write your paragraph like inside out, which is how I usually write my paragraphs. Uh, and I will explain to you how to do that. So this is one method of writing a paragraph. You do not have to do this if you already have a good way of writing a paragraph. That works for you. But if you're stuck, this might be a good place for you to start or a place for you to try to start. So first we're going to look at the paragraph that I wrote and then I'll explain how I wrote it. So um, I'm going to read the paragraph to you. Romeo killing Tybalt will lead to further conflict in the play because, Ju oh, because Juliet could be angry that her husband killed her cousin. Only an hour after Romeo married Juliet, he runs into Capulets and Montagues on the verge of a fight. When he refuses to fight Tybalt, Mercutio fights in his place. Tybalt ends up killing Mercutio, who is Romeo's best friend, and Romeo seeks vengeance on Tybalt. Romeo murders Tybalt, who is his wife, Juliet's cousin. After the fight, Lady Capulet demands justice be served on behalf of her nephew, and that Romeo slew Tybalt. Tyb Romeo must not live. This quote shows that Romeo has killed Juliet's cousin, and this might lead to his death. Even if he survives, his wife will probably be angry that he killed her cousin and might not love him anymore. Romeo's impulsive actions of killing Tybalt in revenge for his best friend's death show the importance of thinking carefully about your actions, because now he can't stay in Verona and be happy with his new wife. So that's the paragraph altogether. I did notice that there's some typos, but... It is what it is. It's a draft. Um, so I'm going to take you through the process that it took me to put this together. So step one, brainstorm your evidence. So the prompt is what act in event three will lead to further conflict later in the play. So I'm thinking in my brain, I'm asking myself what evidence in act three is going to cause further trouble for Romeo and Juliet in the play because we know they have a tragic ending. Uh, and bad stuff happens to them later. <clears throat> so it ha those are the two main characters. So I'm thinking, okay, what's going on in this act that's going to affect them negatively? So I decided that my answer was the sword fight where Tybalt kills Mercutio because Romeo is trying to protect both of them. Then Romeo seeks revenge and kills Tybalt. This leads the prince to vanish banish Romeo from Verona where he just got married to Juliet. Like that seems like that's a bit of a problem for their marriage continuing happily and, you know, Romeo's life continuing. So, um, step two, uh, write your topic sentence. So your topic sentence is your claim, what you're trying to say in response to the prompt. So remember that you can use the wording in the prompt to help you start writing the topic sentence. In fact, that's often a really good place to start. So I took the prompt and I turned it from the question into a frame where I could fill in my, my information. So I said in the frame, the event in this act, insert event in this act, will lead to further conflict in the play, later in the play, because dot dot dot. And then I just filled that information in. So Romeo killing Tybalt will lead to further conflict in the play. 
because Juliet could be angry that her husband killed her cousin. Yes, I know there's a heat that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> uh, step three, <clears throat> find and write down your evidence. So for English class, unless you're told otherwise, your evidence from a novel or play is always, always, always going to be a quote. If you're missing a quote, you're missing your evidence. So first step is find a part of the text that has a quote that backs up your claim. So I provided a screenshot of Lady Capulet talking to the prince after um, Romeo has run away and she wants revenge on him. And I highlighted the part that said, Romeo slew Tybalt, Romeo must not live. So I then used that as my evidence. So I provided a little bit of a context frame by starting the sentence with, after the fight, Lady Capulet demands justice be served on behalf of her nephew, and that Romeo slew Tybalt, Romeo must not live. And I also finished it off with the citation, which is the act number in capital Roman numerals, the scene number in lowercase Roman numerals, and the line number in regular Arabic numbers. So... And that kind of takes place of the page number that you would use in a book. Um, step four, write your commentary. So the commentary is like the glue that holds all of your paragraph together. So how, and it's always answering the question, I'm sorry, how does the evidence prove your topic sentence? Um, it's answering that question. <clears throat> so... I thought about my topic sentence and I thought about my support with evidence and how do I marry those two things together? So I decided to make those work with each other. My commentary had to say, this quote shows, and you can start with this quote shows, that Romeo has killed Juliet's cousin and this might lead to his death. Even if he survives, his wife will probably be angry that he killed her cousin and might not love him anymore. Then go back into your paragraph and write your explanation. So this I'm doing this out of order, right? That's why I'm calling writing this inside out. <clears throat> so the explanation provides a context, like what's going on in the text and the play, for, in this case, for the quote. So I kind of gave a little plot summary. So if you're going to summarize, it's going to happen here in the explanation. So the explanation is only an hour after Romeo married Juliet. He runs into, the, into Capulets and Montagues on the verge of a fight. When he refuses to fight Tybalt, Mercutio fights in his place. Tybalt ends up killing Mercutio, who is Romeo's best friend, and Romeo seeks vengeance on Tybalt. Romeo murders Tybalt, who is his wife Juliet's cousin. Um, and that was taken from, the, that comes before the support with evidence, so it kind of introduces that quote that we ended up choosing. Kind of what's happened up to this, to bring us to this point. Um, then, step six, write your clincher. So the clincher is the last part of the paragraph, and it wraps it up. And kind of shows like why the topic is important to like the text as a whole or society or the whole world or to us as people. <clears throat> so I decided that Romeo's actions were kind of a warning, right? So Romeo's impulsive actions of killing Tybalt in revenge for his best friend's death show the importance of thinking carefully about your actions. Because now he can't stay in Verona and be happy with his new wife. So again, let's look at the whole thing put together. So I have a topic sentence that makes a claim about the prompt. I have an explanation that provides like kind of a summary of what's going on. I have my support with evidence that, in, that includes a quote and also is related to the topic sentence. And then I have commentary that marries the support with evidence to the topic sentence. And I have a clincher that wraps it all up. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, Good luck with your writing. Let me know if you need any help.